everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you the slight differences between Samsung One UI 7 versus Samsung One UI 8 when it comes down to hyperlapse. Now, if you haven't used hyperlapse before, or if it's been quite some time, you should definitely take a look because it is very fun to play with. You can do hyperlapse videos either during the daytime or also at night. Now, when you first take a look at the slight differences between the two, here we are on hyperlapse on both of these. This is the Galaxy S24 Ultra. This one is the S25 Ultra. Here's the difference between the One UI 7 and One UI 8. It's the way that they are set up right here. So this one is very simple. Uh, it's a little uh, you know, dial that kind of goes back and forth. With this one, you just have to go through all of these ones. You have the option for auto, which is just right there in the center. You can go right up over here for this uh, nighttime kind of 45X. So this is a good speed for recording cars streaking by at night. You'll get the exact same thing over here. It's just the way that it's set up and it's also easy just to go right back over into auto. Also what I'm finding is that I can just leave this up and it's not going to disappear for quite some time. This one disappears all the time when I'm just trying to look and read at everything. So here is the auto, here's the auto. They do say the exact same thing. It's just the way that they are set up where it's slightly different. And I feel that this one's much easier to see exactly how it's all set up. So this is like daytime, this is all nighttime. And you can see this thing still keeps going away. So as you read all of it, this is good speed for recording sped up videos of people just doing things. Uh, good speed for recording traffic streaming by. So same thing right over here. So they don't change the words at all. So I'm just gonna keep looking over here. Good speed for recording clouds moving across the sky, which was one that I did. Good speed for recording crowds of people walking by and good speed for recording sunrises and sunsets. So this is one of them that I did do and it was a sunset. I did come out a little late on it, but I can still show you my result of it. But you know, if you were to actually do the full sunset or sunrise, it's gonna look really good. Then you have all of your nighttime type of stuff over here. So this is good speed for recording sped up videos at night. You also have good speed for recording cars streaking by at night. And then I also did this one as well. Good speed for recording movement of stars. As you go through all of these ones here, they will say the exact same thing. But this one is just kind of all bulked up and just kind of bunched up with all of this. And it's not in a nice little, uh, you know, scroll wheel like this. And you can really see daytime versus nighttime. This one is all just kind of bunched up. Also, what you can do on both of them is you can switch it from the full HD to ultra HD. So you can switch between the two. So if you want better quality, make sure you go to ultra HD. So I'm gonna move this one out of the way. I wanted to show you the difference mostly with that menu when it comes down to this little scroll wheel and that the screen stays up longer for you to read everything. And again, uh, the definitions and some of the statements for each of those options of the camera setup is just letting you know what you could do at those speeds. So it doesn't have to be exactly what it states. Now to show you some of the examples that I have created. So opening this up, also another thing that you can do, which I'll show you is that if you do the option for stars, you can actually have the streaking that goes along with it. So you can watch the entire path of the stars from where it started to where it ended. So here is just a few examples. This is the hyperlapse I did of the clouds. Now, when you are recording something and it's stating, you know, every five seconds turns into one second, which is, that is a good recording if you are doing something like a unboxing or you're setting something up. Also, you have another one that's like every for every 30 seconds, it turns into one second or every 300 seconds turns into one second. So you might be recording out there for 15 minutes just to get uh, one minute of content. So for this one, I believe it was recording for 15 minutes and I got one minute out of it.
Now, when I did the stars one, I believe it was recording for over an hour and I got like 18 seconds. Now, this is the one that I was trying to do the sunset on. I went out there just a little bit too late. And what you will be able to see if this one was actually done when the sun was actually coming down and I didn't have all of the trees in the way, you'll be able to see it, you know, getting darker and darker. So here is pretty much the faster version of what I just got done shooting. So again, this one was recording for about 15 minutes, uh, maybe even 20 minutes, and it got a full minute of content. So if I was watching the sun actually go down or come up, it would have been a better outcome, but at least wanted to show you how this did. Now, this is the awesome one. So this was completely pitch dark, uh, and here is all the stars right there. I didn't even know if it was going to capture it or not. And you can see that it did a very good job. You can see, you know, that one might have been an airplane, but then there was other ones that was definitely, you know, a, a shooting star. Now to show you how you can get those streaks, if you want to watch, you know, the stars, the whole path of it, go in this view here, which is just the regular image or the video playing in the gallery. When you swipe up where it gives you details about the video, this is where you have a quick edit option, which is star trails. Once you tap on star trails, there's nothing else you have to do. All you'd have to do is just wait. And then what you'll be able to see is this video here. So here is the end result. So this will be uh, the streaks of everything. You just see, you know, the rotation that the earth and everything is doing with all the stars and all that. So that right there, you know, that one could have been an airplane. Maybe it could have been a shooting star. I don't know exactly. So they're throwing in the streaks of all of these stars. Again, a really cool effect. When I started filming this, it was a pitch black screen. And that was when, again, I didn't know for a fact if you know, it was going to get anything, you know, recorded. But also what's fun with this is that you can see, okay, that one was definitely an airplane. Some of these could have been shooting stars. Uh, but there is a few of these shooting stars that I completely missed watching the regular video. So when you have the streaks on it, at least you'll be able to catch everything. So that was the video for today. I just wanted to show off the differences from One UI 7 to versus One UI 8 with hyperlapse because for me, this is why I created the video. I use hyperlapse from before, but I haven't used it just yet on One UI 8. That was when I noticed the change of this wheel and the easy way of going right back to auto. So when you go through all of these ones, just remember everything on the right hand side, this is mostly for daytime. And then when you have everything over here, this is everything for nighttime. So here's that 300. That means for every 300 seconds, it is one second. For this one, for every 45 seconds, it is one second which is why you just want to put this thing on a tripod and let it be for some time. Sometimes right over here, you're going to leave it going for about 15 minutes. Uh, and then over here, you're going to let it go for like an hour. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.